I got a couple of days on a movie coming up in the middle of November. Wow. So here I am. <laughs> You're really one of my favorite actors. I've Just seen. Just a minute, Pat. Yeah. Is Coco here? No. Maybe he's under the bed. I'll be in in a little while. It's the gal that comes in and helps me clean up my studio, and she does the. It's a very nice gal. She's just flirting for the dog. Anyway, here we are. I'm a big fan of your work. You're one of my favorite actors, Mr. Hurd. That's why I wanted to. Thank you. Thank you. When I'm older, I want to be an actor myself. That's why I've been. How old are you? I'm 17. 17. Yeah, but you've got to start doing community theater right now. I've Don't do- wait. I've done a little bit. You can't bit. wait. No, 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 no. You can't. I started when I was about 15 or 16. you got to go and you got to just do one word, one line. There must be a lot of community theaters where you are. Little theaters, church. I also worked for the Boston Catholic Theater. They used to do shows during Lent. Mm-hmm. I, I did a lot of plays just to get the experience. Now, you've got to go out there and get a part now. You can't just sit there and, and say you, that's what you want to be. If you want to be, you got to start right now. Yes. <laughs> I've tried to do a few you know, community theaters. I've got started in a couple of them, and I've enjoyed them so far, and I want to get in more community theaters. Well, that's great, man. There you go. You're you're on a roll now. (laughs) Thank you. And uh, that's why I do my radio. Do you remember the name of the plays? Um, It was just like some small plays. Um, I can't remember the name of them. That's okay, but you should go after within a 50-mile radius of where you live. You should track down every theater and every play to see if there's a role in there for you. I will do that. and uh, Because I love, you know, entertainment and acting. I always... Now, where you are, you're, you're in a place, though, there must be road shows that come through there with uh, professional shows and singers. And you ever get a chance to go see any of those? No, not recently. No. Yeah. Well, you're going to see, the, the more you see... What I used to do when I had these small parts, like the Claude Rains or Veronica Lake or, uh-huh. you know, whatever, I used to, when I could, I used to stand out of the way in the wings, mm-hmm. Claude Rains, too, and just watch them. Another thing I would do when I had a break and they were rehearsing, mm-hmm. I would watch them rehearse. <laughs> so you can learn a lot by watching other people. Yes, you can. You learn from anywhere, really. People and sure, you learn a lot. Mm-hmm. That's why I do this radio show. You know, I've been doing my radio show for four years, and I've talked to a lot of great oh, people. Like, oh you. my gosh, you must, you must have a big, have a long list of people. <laughs> I do. I have over um, two thousand people of this year. Like you know, two thousand people that you've talked to. Not 2,000 people, but a, a whole bunch of viewers. But I've talked to over 100 people. Over 100. Now, let me ask you, where, where do people hear your show? What, how do you get it on the air? They can hear it on the internet, on my website, and um, a few other radio... What do, you call your, what do you call your show? The Trey Olds Radio Show. My name and radio show. Trail. Well, they must love that. They must love that. <laughs> they do. I've talked to... Um, it's wonderful. I enjoy it. And, uh, well, that's great. I'm glad... Um, see, you're getting a lot of experience just doing this. Radio's a wonderful thing. That's why I, I started before mm-hmm. television came in. You know, the radio. Television hadn't come in until I went down to New York at an early age to study. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was live television. Mm-hmm. They they didn't have any tape or anything. It was like doing a play, yeah. and you were and you went on you know live television. It was the best, the beginning, and they had some very creative people. Then they found out they could make a lot of money. Then it all started to change. But I got in. I was in the beginning with small parts, and then little bigger parts, and uh, off Broadway, and a little a little Broadway, and road shows, and mm-hmm. whatever I could get to keep going and keep going. Until finally, I got a chance to play a small part in All the President's Men. I played McCord, James McCord, 
I remember that and, TV show. Uh, my agent was able to talk me up about that, mm -hmm. and that helped me get a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And from that work came my opportunity. They brought me out to Hollywood to do a, a series that failed. Mm -hmm. And then I was out in, uh, I was out doing a play, uh, a couple of Odessa play called uh, The Big Knife. Mm -hmm. And uh, my agent called me and said I, I had done a pilot with Bill, uh, with uh, Shatner, Bill Shatner. William Shatner. And they said <laughs> they changed the whole concept and they want you, want you to come, you know, come on back and uh, do six episodes and they want to see if they can make it into a series. So I went back, did six episodes, ended mm -hmm. up doing that show for three years. Yeah. With, with Shatner, you know, he's a hardworking guy and Adrian Smed was on that show and, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, a very good, he came on late, he was a good singer. And the gal, I'm trying to remember her name, the gal that played my daughter was just a, a terrific gal. I just can't come up with her name right now, but that, you know her name, the gal that played my daughter on T.J. Hooker? Can you remember it? No, I can't remember it, but I used to love watching that show. But I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it all started in Hollywood for me. I did, I did thirty years in New York, you know, on mm -hmm. the road, whatever I could get in New York, doing plays and television and small parts and films. Then when I started coming out here, I started getting, you know, some important films that I had bigger parts in, like mm -hmm. China Syndrome and Fist and. Uh, Oh, you know, Private Benjamin and The Onion Field, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite TV shows you were in was Seinfeld, Mr. Winhelm. Oh, right, I love that. They were very nice people. I recurred on that. I did 14 episodes. I recurred on that for two seasons, and I had a, I had a wonderful time, a wonderful time. <laughs> yeah, I like that show. You were a funny character. The only thing you had to be able to do on that show was to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what other questions you got for me? What is the most challenging part about being an actor? If you have a challenging part about being... Uh, uh, the most challenging thing about being an actor is making enough money so you can have your dinner. The <laughs> most challenging thing, the first job an actor has, you know, the first job as an actor has is to get a job. Yeah got to get a job yes uh, that's what an actor's job is to get a job and you've got to get the auditions and you'll they'll, they'll keep turning you down and turning you down and uh, then you get it but the most important thing an actor has to do to get a job is to study yeah you got to go to a, a good legitimate uh, class or a good two-year course at a conservatory somewhere but you have to have training mm -hmm. you got to learn what you're doing Learn it all, and then when you go to audition, you just throw it away and do your damnedest to get the part. <laughs> because I would not, I would, I would not encourage anyone to go into my business. Because when I went into it, it was even difficult. But there was so much more work, so much because things were less expensive. Yeah, there were a lot of plays in New York. There were a lot of television shows, radio out here in California. When they get the tax incentive or they went up to Canada, we have lost half the work. Yeah. Fifty percent of the work we had here in L.A. and Hollywood is gone, never to come back. I did a film down in Alabama. They gave them a 35 percent tax incentive. That meant every buck they spent in Alabama, they got 35 cents back. They don't do that here. So if I were a producer, that's where I would go. Louisiana is big, too. They give a lot of tax incentives yeah. down there. Yes, they do. Don't track film. Well, you must have seen companies around where you are doing movies. Yes, um, in Louisiana. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch, you know, and I think sure. they were wonderful, you know. I, <laughs> yeah. And uh, my, my advice to anybody is not to go into my business. It's too difficult. Too difficult. And if you're going to do it, you've got to go study first. You've got to study. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, you know, we have, we have Juilliard, we have Northwestern, we have Carnegie, some of the finest, you know, and these people, you know, they're all trained, they, they, they sing, they dance, they act, but there's just not enough work for them. Mm -hmm. You know, and these are people that are trained, and you've got all these people that come out here, sometimes they get lucky, they get a series, but they get taken advantage of by failed at, by people who can't really teach, or 
They want to make a promo tape. Mm. Anybody you're going to study with anybody, you better find out about them. Find out their resume. Go online. Find out about them. See if they really have any background in teaching. Because anybody can call themselves a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone can call themselves an actor, too, you know? <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. But that doesn't mean they're going to get a job. <laughs> And then the hardest thing in the world is the impossibility of getting an agent. <laughs> agents are letting people go. And agents go out and they look, they, they grab all the fine talent, the young talent that they can, and that's what they stick with. But it's so damn hard even that you cannot get into an agent's office anymore. They might see you in a play or something like that, but unless you're connected, or it's almost impossible. Yeah. It is, you know. <laughs> My next question is, um, do you have any upcoming projects as in film or television or theater? or? Yeah, I just started. Well, I'm going to be doing this play about the Kennedys, playing the father. Uh -huh. And I just did Shameless, mm -hmm. a television series. That'll be on uh, January 17th in the new year. Uh -huh. uh, a show, uh, a big movie I did, a blockbuster movie, just opened about three months ago called Get Out. I've seen that movie. And uh, in the middle of November, I got three or four days on a film called uh, Boulevard Girls. Mm -hmm. But you see, this one, I, and I've done a lot of uh, smaller films as well. Mm -hmm. One of them went to the Cannes Festival two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you, I'm semi-retired. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I take a part now is because I like it. Yeah. I want to do it because a lot of these people don't have any money to pay actors, even though it is a union film. It, they don't pay you the way they used to. Mm -hmm. And I'm an older man now. If I see a part and they offer it to me, I do it because I'm working with younger people. I'm having a good time. And it's not brain surgery. They don't have to have a big crew and they do wonderful work. <laughs> so, you know, I do, and my wife does the same thing. My wife and I do a lot of work together. And people just call me up and, you know, talk to me and ask me if I want to do something. If I like it, I go do it. If I don't, I stay home. Uh, I paint. I have my, I'm calling you, as a matter of fact, right from my studio. Uh -huh. Yeah, people can go and look at my Facebook page. I think I have like a dozen paintings on that. Wow. It's the official Richard Hurd Facebook page. The official Richard Hurd Facebook page. And I think uh, I did a show, uh, art show down in Florida this year in Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. and there's a very nice fellow down there. It's it's, uh, it's called the, uh, his name is Frank Delota, mm -hmm. Deloto, <laughs> and uh, he put a, face page, a Facebook page together for me mm -hmm. with 12 of my pieces of art, and we did very well. So that's what's going on. But the folks out there, you know, they can, you know, get, get in there and uh, look at my Facebook, or they can... Uh, you know, look at, uh, just put Richard Hurd in there and they'll find a place where they can, you know, get in touch with me if they want to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of your paintings on your Facebook page. I like them. No, thank you. You have good, you have good taste. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always something going on, but you know, I'm mm -hmm. in an age now where I have so many other things to do. I'm more busy now in my retirement than I was, you know, like for the last five years before I retired. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot to do in the world. A lot of that is spending more time with your family, getting out to do things that you didn't do in the past, traveling, you know, uh, taking it easy. Uh, I go to class every Saturday, you know, painting class. I exercise. I do uh, aqua water exercise. I do Pilates. I walk. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you got to keep yourself alive, in tune. you got to, you know. But the main thing with young actors, they have to find a survivor job when they're studying. Uh -huh. If they're studying during the day, they got to get a nighttime job. And I tell a lot of the young actors, the guys, or even the gals, go to bartenders.